My name is Aaron Edgel, and I'd like to show you my Eagle Project. I'm standing here at the entrance of Sanctuary Woods, which is near the corner of 66th and 32nd. As you can see, over there is the backside of Eldine Shipyard, which, if you don't know where that is, it's by the corner of 32nd and South Shore. Now I'd like to show you where my Eagle Project is, so if you come and follow me... Sanctuary Woods is a beautiful place. It has a river and a bridge we're going to be walking over. So. As you can see, there's a picnicking area. We're now going to walk across this bridge to go deeper into the park. Now to get deeper into Sanctuary Woods, we're going to have to do a bit of a climb up these stairs. I hope you wore your tennis shoes. Well now I've gotten to the top of the stairs and I'm a little bit worn out. But now once you've gotten to this part of the woods, you will be able to see that Sanctuary Woods is shaped like a bowl with the pass going around the rim of it. Now we're just about ready for me to show you my ego project. Now we just made it to the northwest corner of the bowl, and one thing you might notice that seems out of place is this structure. This water tower was built in 1913 and supplied water to Mac all of Makatawa's residents. It fell sometime in the 60s and has been down for around 50 years. It's been pretty worn out and rusted since then. If you'll come with me and take a closer look, you can see all around the edges of everywhere there's graffiti. There's also lots of jagged metal edges. And all over the ground, there's been beer bottles and spray paint cans. There's also an illegal fire pit that's been lit at least once a week by gangs that come and hide out here. Now we're in the back side of the water tower. My ego project is going to be to dismantle and haul off the pieces of steel from this tower. It's going to be a challenging project. Will you help me with it? A Boy Scout from Holland going above and beyond to earn a couple of badges. He's behind the removal of a long-standing eyesore along the lakeshore. Fox 17's Lindsay Kuss has more on the ongoing efforts. Lindsay doesn't sound like a typical teen. Not at all, Michelle. Aaron Edgel may only be 15 years old, but that's not stopping him from heading up this major project, dismantling a historic water tower and clearing the way for open green space. Decorated with hard-earned badges, he wears a uniform that may not be as common these days, but we all recognize it. Uh, Life Scout rank, which is the second highest rank right next to Eagle. And to reach that soaring Eagle status, Aaron Edgel needs a big project. We were just looking around having trouble finding things, and then one day my dad just suggested, hey, what about that water tower in the back of the woods? Dad's talking about this, the old water tower in Lake Town Township Sanctuary Woods Park. It was built in 1913, but tumbled in the 60s. Now it's been pretty rusted and we've had people come up here graffiti uh, they've built some illegal fire pits so he's decided to tear it down and clean up the space with the help of local businesses and get our Boy Scout troop in here with rakes and trash bags they'll pick things up then a group of professional volunteers will begin hours of steel cutting after around five days of cutting it should be d disassembled and then we'll move on to step three towing it away to the dumpster all while following health and safety codes each step of the way there was just things that they wanted to know and and make sure was taken care of and so Aaron has learned a lot about doing uh, the background work on a project like this Aaron seems to have the right idea to make the neighborhood a little bit safer and remove an eyesore from this beautiful park. Hopefully earning his Eagle Scout title in the process all while making dad happy. Um, I'm proud of my son. Now the scouts are going to start up the cleanup this Saturday out there at the park, but as you can see, they got their work cut out for us. A lot of work. Sure. Yeah, and hopefully maybe, you know, people will come out and help them. Absolutely. I think yeah. there will be people. Set a good example. Thanks, Lindsay. Thanks, Lindsay. About six weeks ago, I asked you for your help. Most of you said yes. Thanks to you, the project is a go on today, Saturday the 25th. I'd especially like to thank the, co the donating companies of Padnos, Fillmore Equipment, FireTech, and Lake Welding. And I'd also like to thank all you volunteers out there who helped me with this project. Thank you. And now let's get started. <laughs> okay, <laughs> uh, alright guys, well, what we're going to do is today we're going to be cleaning the site of all the litter and fallen dead sticks and leaves and stuff around here that could catch on fire when we're doing our torching. So I'm going to divide you guys into different sections of the area and you're going to try to clear it out. 
that with, with litter and broken glass and stuff, you're going to put that in your trash bag. But with the fallen leaves and sticks and stuff, you're going to throw it out into the back of the woods farther because that's biodegradable and belongs here. Uh, having like two meetings a week or something? Am I planning on what? Like two months get back to my house. Got it. A shovel will help immensely. Oh, it does smell down here. Oh, oh boy. Smell in here. Oh, oh. Wow. You oh. could cut that, didn't you? You know, you would have to. Always be the reason for that. Coming up over the top. You know, it's times like this, Kim. Alright, phase one is complete, and thanks to our wonderful volunteers, we finished an entire hour early. Alright! Yeah! <laughs> Today is Monday the 27th of July, and having just cleaned the site of all flammable debris last Saturday, we're now here to start torching the tower and take the pieces into a pile which we will later take down the hill. Here is our gear for the day. Here is your equipment. Uh, everybody's supposed to wear a hard hat, a pair of gloves, and an eye protection that we have in there. Uh, the most of the rest of this is for fire safety. In case there are spikes, sparks, and they fly and start a small fire that isn't big enough to stomp out, there's three things that you would do in this order. First, you would take a shovel and try to throw dirt on it. And if that kills it, then that's great. If that doesn't work, we have a hose over there that you bring over and it's always on. So that will probably take it out. If that doesn't work, we have large bu uh, tubs of water here and buckets that you can dip in and come over and pour out. If that doesn't work, we have fire extinguishers here. Now, uh, don't... Most of you probably don't know the exact method to, doing, to using a fire extinguisher, so I'm going to show you. The fire extinguisher is, can be used using the acronym PASS. P stands for pin. There is a pin like this in there that you have to pull out, and that will release the safety. A is for aim. You take this and you'd aim it at the base of the fire. S is for squeeze. You would squeeze this and it would start to shoot. And then the other S is for sweep. You'd want to sweep it around around the fire. So what does it stand for, guys? P, A, 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 A S, squeeze. squeeze. And
A lot of fun. Yeah, and, uh, major project. You bet. It's good to see it this far. What do you think about your team? Pretty good. Great workers? team. Yeah. Great team. I'll tell you, they're they're right okay. there for me. Well, so I appreciate that. All right. Well, and Aaron, fun. how do you feel about things so far? Are you feeling good about it? Must yeah. be. We it's, split that baby wide open. It really was well done.
Nathan. Come on. See if we can close the door. Okay. Ready? Get your hand off of there. Get this door closes. We will be victorious. Two, three. Someone needs to slam that latch. I got it. to help us on our quest. And thank you, Jeff Mayer, for teaching us about the safety precautions using the fire extinguisher. Thank you, Aaron. I'm at the site of Lake Welding Supply Company, where I'd like to thank this company for their tremendous support. They supplied us with all the fuel we needed to torch down the tower. With around 13 tanks of oxygen and three tanks of acetylene, they gave us the biggest donation of any of the companies this far. I'd like to give a big thanks to them and to Robert Garza for helping us. Thank you, Aaron. We do appreciate being part of this project and a uh, very great project you take on. I'm glad you accomplished it and all your goals and we look forward to working with you in the future on any other projects. Thanks again. Now I'm at the site of Fillmore Equipment where I'd like to formally thank their company for lending us their Gator. Without the Gator, we would have had a really hard time towing all the steel down the hill. We probably would have broken some backs. So I'd like to thank Dave Timmerman for letting us use this Gator. You're very welcome. Glad to be a part of that. Hello, coming to you live from Padnos Iron and Metal. Seymour Padnos, Scott O'Neill, and Scott Walters. We work for Lewis Padnos here in Holland. We have uh, scrap operations throughout West Michigan. Aaron just completed his Eagle Scout project. We worked with him as he hauled down about uh, 12 tons of iron here in the local community. And Seymour's gonna present now a check to Aaron in the amount of approximately $1,600 for the, for the uh, proceeds from the project for scrap recycling. Seymour, why don't you hand uh, Aaron the check? And been great. Thank you. Thank you, Seymour, and thank you all you guys. I gotta say, these three guys are really great, and I really gotta thank Ped Nose for suppli supplying us with the supplies we need. They gave us hard hats, gloves, safety goggles, steel toed shoes, and the special lugger unit. And they gave they pitched in a little extra money for us. 
I really got to say thank you one more time. So thank you. Thanks. Good job. Yeah. Nice job. Well done. Well, I'm finished. It's done. My eco project is finally done. I've sure learned a lot of things through this project, but I'd say there's three things that I learned most. First would be about planning and presenting myself to businesses and uh, high up on the um, political chain people. There's a lot of strategy to it, and if you don't get it right, then they don't really get your message or they don't think you're worth it, so they send you away. Uh, second would be about the blessings of volunteers. Volunteers really are special people. They spend their time to help you. They have many things that I'm sure they'd much rather be doing. And you have a lot of things to do, and they're willing to sacrifice their time to help you. I'd say the last thing I learned was about leadership. I've had leadership experiences in the past, but none quite like this. During this, I've learned really about perseverance and stepping up to the plate. I've also learned about it's okay to fail and ask for help. There's a lot of things that went wrong, and it took a lot of leadership to try to figure it through. You know, for one last time, I gotta thank all the volunteers and people that came and helped me. And to you future Eagle Scouts, don't give up. It took me four years to get here, but I'm definitely glad I did it.